we've got the perfect toy in the comfy couch for you, Molly. Ooh. Somewhere, goodness knows we have just about the whole world in here. Oh! Huh. Told ya! Oh, hi! You're here! Goody! Just in time! Ah, cause I'm gonna find Molly a special toy for her birthday. Yep! Woo! Oh, you can't hug a fishing rod. No way! Molly needs a special toy. Something soft and cuddly. <gasps> Maybe a teddy, Molly. I'm gonna find you the perfect comfy little companion. What's a companion? Oh, well, a companion is, um... A friend! Yeah, a friend who likes to do things with you, who likes to hang out with you, just like you like to be with me. You are my little companion, right, Molly, my dolly? Right. Dolls are good companions. Dolls are very important, aren't they? Boy, before I had my Molly, <sighs> I felt like the last raisin in the box. Yep, just rattling around on this big old couch all by myself. There was a real dearth of mirth, let me tell you. <sighs> it was no fun at all. <sighs> nope, no way. Just think of it, Molly, me without you. There I was, a poor little clown, all by her itty bitty self on this great big couch. Every clown and every kid needs some clown to play with. Like when you try to tell a knock-knock joke. Well, all by yourself, it's just no fun. Knock-knock! I said knock-knock! Oh, never mind. Or when you want to play tag. I'm it! It can be very tiring chasing yourself all day. I'm it again! Playing checkers isn't nearly as much fun all by yourself, even if you win all the time. I win. And hide and seek can get really boring all by yourself. You can't find me! <laughs> oh. I wish I had a friend to play with. Maybe. Hi there. What's your name? My name's Lunette. Really? What's your favorite color? I like the color purple, but green's nice, too. Red. Want to see a funny face? Was that funny? Want to see another one? Want to be my friend? <laughs> Look, a caterpillar in a bathing suit! And reading a story isn't nearly as much fun if you have no one to show the pictures to. It's hard to be alone when you're as sensitive as I am. Seriously. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> but then you came along, Molly. Oh, yeah, then it was you and me, comfy companions, right here on our big comfy couch. Ha. <sighs> Forever and always. Always? Oops, always! <gasps> I almost forgot! What do I always do, Molly? Every day. <laughs> Besides that, remember the promise I made to myself? A promise that every day, no matter what, I would get up off our big comfy couch and... Yes! She's a smart doll, you know. I've been so busy looking for a toy for Molly, her very own little companion, that I almost forgot my clock rug stretch. So, gotta go. Oh, Molly, now it's your turn to dig in the couch and see what you can find. Be right back with the wiggle and a giggle and a goofy friend. Yeah. 
I promised myself that every day I'd get up and stretch on my clock rug so I won't feel all yucky and stodgy. So, here goes! Molly? The family photo album, neat! Oh, well, what you looking for? Oh, your baby picture. But Molly, there isn't a picture of you in here when you were a baby. Well, no, because when I got you, you weren't a baby. No, you were a doll. Don't you remember? I chose you, Molly. Oh, it's good to be chosen, Molly. It's special. Yeah, it is. Don't you remember the day we first met? Oh, when I chose you from all the other toys? You don't? Well, I sure do. In fact, I think there's a picture in here of us somewhere of that very special day. Oh, it was your Mirth Day, Molly. Yep, the day you came to me. Oh, the best day ever. Here it is, see? There's you and there's me. Yep, the day Lunette and Molly met. <sighs> I remember like it was yesterday. <sighs> I was feeling kind of lonely because I had no one to play with. So Auntie Macassar took me to Clown Town for a treat. But before we even got to the donut shop, we had to make a stop at the Clown Town Annual Yard Sale. Every clown and their uncle was there. There were lots of toys at the yard sale, but nothing, well, you know, special. Nothing just for me. I couldn't decide what would be good right now. What did I really need? A donut? Some clown was thinking of a donut, and it wasn't me. Who? You, that's who. It was you, remember? We liked each other the very first time we saw each other. And we like to do the same things. I chose you to be my comfy companion. That was your Mirth Day, Molly. We had a little Mirth Day party. Remember? And then I brought you home to our big comfy couch forever and always. <sighs> And Molly, I would like to give you a present today. Something special, your very own companion. So I know there has got to be something in here somewhere. <sighs> Do you think you'd like a teddy bear, Molly? Oh, no. Some nice snakes? Oh, well, what would you like, Molly? A doll? A doll for a doll. That's funny. <laughs> but, okay, if that's what you want, I shall keep digging. <sighs> See. Ooh. Hey, how about a ball for a doll? Oh, oh well. <sighs> I don't know, Molly. I don't know if we have any dolls in here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
for you. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, yoy. I think I need to take a break, Molly. <sighs> you know, it would be nice for you to have your very own doll, just like me. Oh, there I am as a baby clown. I was so cute. <sighs> well, this is the very first picture of me in this book. This is probably the very first picture of me ever in the whole world. Hey. Oh. Where was I before this picture? Do you remember, Molly? Huh, me neither. Do you? Did you know me when I was a teeny tiny baby clown? Didn't think so. Hey, wait a minute. Well, how... How did I get here in the first place, when I was just a baby? <gasps> I don't even know how I got to the big comfy couch. <gasps> Molly, I know where you came from, but I don't know where I came from. <gasps> where do clowns come from, Molly? You don't know? Who? Me neither. Well, who does know? Granny Garbanzo? She'd know where clowns come from? Oh, well, I'm going to go find out right now. It's important. Where do clowns come from? And Molly, I'll tell you when I come back, okay? <gasps> she knew. Me too. I think it's time you knew about the secret circus. The secret circus? Shh! It's a secret. It is? A secret just for clowns. Let me tell you all about it. You see, long ago, before last Thursday, did you know that the circus used to travel from town to town? It did! What a show! Filling every heart, big and small, with laughter and fun. And as every clown knows, when people laugh with all their hearts, especially little people, then those magic morphed bubbles are born. Bubbles of laughing gas that make the world feel light and bouncy. It's true. After the circus show, when all the town people had gone to bed happy, and the big round moon was rising over the sea, then something very special just might happen. The secret circus. Yes, at the secret circus, the clowns would do all their best tricks to make each other laugh. Laugh so hard it almost hurt. Laugh so hard they couldn't even talk. Laugh their hardest. Real belly laughs and knee slappers. Until more laughing gas would bubble up. Bubble and bubble until the striped tent would get all full. And then the tent would float up into the sky. Of course, those clowns never noticed because they were so busy being silly and laughing all their mortwort. 
they never even noticed what was happening in the sky. A baby, a baby clown would come floating down to join the family of clowns. And not so long ago, before last Thursday, I think, there was a secret circus in Luniburg. I know a beautiful bouncy baby clown floated down out of the full moon into the hands and hearts of the clowns in the secret circus. Her name was Lunette, and she was their girl forever and for always. And that's where you came from, Lunette. That was your birthday. I remember. You do? Yep. That was a night Baby Lunette floated down from under the full moon. It was such a happy night, full of mirth. Oi, we laughed and laughed. It was special. Special. Yep, special. I remember. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. What? I almost forgot. Package for Molly the doll. Oh, to be opened by Lunette the clown. Okay. Happy birthday, Molly. Love, Auntie Macassar. Gee, what is it? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's a doll. Funny looking little doll. Her name is Blue Met. Hmm, wonder why. Oh, she's kind of cute, though. Looks kind of familiar. Hey. <laughs> She wanted a doll just for her. Lumet and Molly. A doll and her dolly. Well, Granny, thanks for telling me the, uh, well, you know. What? Oh, you know the, uh, the secret. Oh, it's not a secret you have to keep, my Lunetka. It's the story of every clown. Oh, can I tell Molly? Of course you can. Okay, then I'll go tell her, and I'll bring her her own doll. A doll for Molly. Well, bye. Bye, Lynette. Bye, bye little clown. <sighs> Won't Molly be surprised? Come on. It happens on the night of the full moon. And that's where clowns come from. It's true, uh-huh. Granny told me. And guess what? This is for you. Your very own doll, Auntie Macassar sent her for your birthday present. Her name is Blue Met. Do you like her? She belongs to you. Oh, and now you can love her and snuggle her just the way I love to snuggle you, right? Ah, oh, we belong together. And that is forever and always. When I recall the first time we met, me and my new doll, I can't forget what I saw. With me belong in every and always. It won't be long till we belong forever and always. With you by my side and her beside you, this feeling's undenied. It's perfectly true. Belong with me, belong in every and always. It won't be long till we belong forever and always. All in all, above the rest, the world will look bright if you honor my one request. Just stick around, maybe crack a smile, brush your cares away. Wishing her, wishing you, wishing me a happy birthday. Cause you belong with me, belong in every and always. It won't be long till we belong 
forever and always. <sighs> happy birthday, Molly, and happy birthday, Blue Matt. <sighs> hey! Oh, that gives me a good idea. I'll go do some silly things to make you and Blue Matt be full of mirth. Want me to? Do you? It'll be really silly. Come on! Ladybugs and jellyfish, boys and giggles, today at Miss Lunette's Dance Academy, please welcome that clown of renown, Lunette, in her dance dedicated to mirth on Earth. <laughs> Was that funny, Molly? Did I do lots of silly things to make you laugh? Good. I hope you got a giggle when I wiggled. Wasn't that funny? <laughs> la, 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 la. Hey. Who made this big mess? Me? I did, didn't I? Well then, I have to clean it up. It's only fair. So get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go! done. But I sure laughed in my dance, and so did you. Real belly laughs. What, Mal? Oh, you wonder if there's a full moon tonight, and maybe a new clown will be born. Well, maybe. But Molly, as long as the world keeps laughing, there will always be clowns, and dolls, and kids. And that's the truth. Let's not keep it a secret. Toodles. <sighs> And the clown jumped over the moon. <laughs>